So this is we're going to move on to the weather now because I'm really curious about this and I'm sure chat's really interested because this is where the sort of gameplay gets ticking and the content creation and thinking of all the mad stuff you can do. Uh, to begin with, I understand that you guys are making some pretty big changes when it comes to the weather in Forza Horizon 5, correct? Yeah, so um, as mentioned before, like um, weather is regional in Forza Horizon 5. So if you're in the, in the living desert, um, you could get just a sprinkling of, of, of rain. And then if you go down the jungle, it could be a torrential down, downpour. So we have all these uh, different weather um, uh, behaviors in the different um, biomes, which really ref reflects and enhances the experience that you have in those biomes. Mm -hmm. um, along with that is we have kind of two new weather effects, which are seasonal. Um, which is our towering dust storms um, and our tropical storms. And it's, it's the one thing that's new about that as well is that it doesn't just happen around you. You actually can see it from a distance and approach it, um, which is something that we've never done in a Horizon game. Yeah, and you can, think... you can see that in the video that's mm -hmm. playing just now. So this is an, mm -hmm. it's an older internal video. Um, and we created this video to kind of show these effects, how they look in the distance, how you experience them. And it's still just does a great job at it. So we thought we share it today with the community. Lovely. Yeah, for On the first time the in a Horizon community. game, you can Thank do your you. storm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, storm chasing was a big thing on our on our uh, in our plans um, <laughs> when we were starting the project. I can't. I'm, the I'm, first, the first thing I think I'm going to do as soon as I'm in free roam is go chase the first storm that I see. Because uh, you also mentioned that these weather types are regional, correct? So like you will be able to spot storms from a while away, and if you if you don't want to be like maybe if you want to compete in certain areas that are drier or you're looking for a challenge, you can actually go to specific biomes for that. Exactly. If, if you if uh, in our uh, winter season, which is um, in the Mexico is our dry season, um, if you want to experience get a snow experience, you could drive up to the volcano and drive around the snow. If you don't want that snow winter wintry experience, then you could drive to the coast and you know have a you know um, have a very uh, vacationy uh, type experience. So. Um, <laughs> It is very different per region, um, as well as seasonal. So we also change those weather patterns and weather behaviors uh, uh, based on the different seasons. Sure. I mean, that was going to be my next question, actually, was how how much do Mexican seasons differ from English seasons? Because in England, a fun fact, if you're watching the stream and not in England, it does rain every single <laughs> season regardless. So is Mexico <laughs> any different, I wonder? Um, it depends on which region you're in. So ah, obviously, cool. um, uh, Mexico is very different than the traditional seasons that, as we know it. Um, but they all have their kind of nuances, and there's some relatability to them. And again, going back to being as authentic as uh, as possible, um, there is some um, characteristics and behaviors within the different biomes that feed themselves naturally to our uh, our four seasons. Amazing. I love it. Thank you so much, everyone. And at this point, I'm actually going to hand over the stream. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, we have another question here from Lyanx, who says, can you put convertible roofs up and down in free roam? Again, I think Mike mentioned this last week. No, not the other week. Yeah. Um, but yes, can we confirm that the convertible roofs go up and down? Yes, they can. Uh, I think left thumbstick, press it down, and um, you'll yeah drop the top or um, bring it up. There was there some confusion about which stick. thumbstick it is last time, and it is the left one. <laughs> so we've come on today to confirm it is the left thumbstick. There we go.